I actually had a kid that hit me and tried to bite me and then said really nicely, her name, we'll call her Shelly, she came up and said, I want to bite you, please. <laughs> like, that's what she said. And I was like, good asking, but no. This one is a particular pain point for me because my fiance and I, we have a son uh, pretty severely affected on the autism spectrum. So we're living, we're living this every single day and, and we literally will have people come into our home and how often have you, have you heard this? You see a behavior problem and then the person says, use your words and then they allow them to have what they want, all within a quick chain. Behavior problem, use your words. All they did was shape up a chain of problem behaviors, so the learner thinks that they have to first hit you, then say, then use their words, I just hit you, thank you, and then, then, they, then they get what they want. So this is a common thing. I think we have to be really, we have to be mindful of this. This is a, a lot of new BCBAs, they understand the principle, but somehow, Teachers and, and, and newer RBTs end up doing this. A behavior problem occurs, and then we say, use your words. I actually had a kid that hit me and tried to bite me, and then said really nicely, her name, we'll call her Shelly, she came up and said, I want to bite you, please. <laughs> like, that's what she said. And I was like, good asking, but no. But, but, but seriously, like, we, this is a major problem in schools and in homes. We, we, we accidentally realize that the behavior problem occurs. We ask them to use functional communication training, maybe manding if they're gesture, maybe vocalize it, and then we give them what, we, what they want. But all they learn is to have a problem behavior first to get your attention. So what I'm gonna suggest, and the research may often supports, in order to create time, and in order to not reinforce the problem behavior chain, hit me, say I want to bite you please, and then get a reward, require the learner to engage in a couple appropriate behaviors. So you might place a demand on them, they follow through, and then you created time in between the problem behavior and the reward. Does that make sense? So you might require them, you know, high five, do this, do this, and then they get something. So they had a problem behavior, instead of prompting them to, to use FCT right away, you're having them engage in a couple behaviors that are of compliance and then you give them, then they use their words. Make sense? It creates time.